Hello everyone, this is Marlo458, and after a while here is another Android video. This time I'll be showing you the Cyogen Mod 12 on Xperia Z. It really works blazingly fast and is really stable. And here you can see that it is running on Lollipop 5.0.2 and I must say that it works as fast, if not faster, than when I bought it. Here you can take a look at the boot up time and the boot animations on Cyogen Mod 12. Next thing I want to show you is the lock screen. You can unlock the device by swiping up. You can access the dialer by swiping from the left corner to the right. And finally you have the camera at the right corner. The camera is fully functional uh, and I have even installed the Google camera from the Play Store because it offers more options than the Sygen Mod one. Video recording also works fine and the quality of the pictures is definitely worse than uh, stock Sony camera app but uh, we are already used to Google having average camera quality just as on Nexus 5 or Nexus 4. This being Sygen Mod it has more features than the standard stock Android Lollipop. For example, you can tweak the status and notification bars to your liking here. Uh, here I'm showing you how you can change the battery icon to variety of options to suit you. And you can even move the clock to the center and uh, yeah, it definitely looks ugly here, but okay, you can do it if you want. And one of my favorite options is double tap to wake, just like on HTC and LG devices. I did install the Google Now launcher, simply because it let me use the Google Now by swiping all the way to the left, whereas the Sergeant Mod 1 is missing that option. The notification bar is one of my favorite things on Lollipop simply because it is so intuitive and shows all the necessary options one average user needs plus Sygen mod improvements to really make it shine. The brightness bar is there as usual but the great thing is that you can rearrange and add or remove tiles that you don't need. If you swipe down once you get to notifications, should you swipe one more time you get to quick settings. But if you swipe from the upper right edge you get to quick settings immediately. The two finger swipe is also present here as on all other lollipop releases. All in all I really do think that this ROM really helps Xperia Z maintain the freshness as it is already a two year old phone but it still has the speed uh, and it can still compete with much newer phones. I have installed it using the instructions on the XDA developer site but I'll be sure to make a video uh, for you to help you how to install it on your Xperia Z. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel or leave a like on this video because it really does help me make uh, better videos for you and uh, better quality ones. Thank you.